Hi there, Dan again from Clean Guru. Today, let me start by asking you a question. Have you ever, in the movies, on a TV show, or in real life, heard someone say, so this is an employee, say, you know, if I ever quit this job, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. I'm going to tell them what I really think of this company. Maybe we've all heard that one in time. We've probably seen it on a show. I remember hearing this in real life, of course. Uh, when I was young, I worked on a loading dock, unloading and loading trucks. And I remember guys would say, boy, I'm going to really give them a piece of my mind. If I, when I quit this job, I'll tell them what I really think. And I remember listening to that, and it's interesting, isn't it? Because you remember a time, a time ago when we talked, a little while back, we talked about how former customers, when, they, when a customer, when you lose a customer, it can be a great source of ideas to help your business. Well, it's the same thing with employees. For employees that are quitting can be a great source of, of things to learn and ideas to make a better cleaning company. Now, that makes sense, but we need to make sure that we take the time to sit down and talk to them. Now, we pride ourselves in having a very good cleaning business and having a close relationship with people, with our employees. So you think to yourself, well, they wouldn't wait until the end to tell me those things. We, we have such a close relationship. If there was any problem, they would tell me. Well, maybe they would and maybe they wouldn't. Maybe there's some things they wouldn't share with you. So while you do want to talk to your employees while they're working for you, make sure they're okay and see if there's anything they need, what's going on, you also want to make sure at the end, if someone leaves, if they're quitting, that you take some time to ask them what they really think. Say, is there anything we could have done better? Tony and I did this. We were having problems with turnover. We really started to do exit interviews and make sure that we interviewed folks and talked to them. We learned a lot of interesting things. We learned, for example, that we needed to do a better job of training people. Because what we heard was, oh yeah, you give me the classroom training, you give me the equipment. Someone was out there the first day, but hardly after that I didn't see anybody. I felt like I was just left out there all alone. There was no one around. I didn't feel like I got comfortable in the job. Or they might say, you know, you had a couple training people come out here to, to help me, but the first night they just showed me around, and the second night they mostly just talked and sat there and watched me do the cleaning and never even really kind of pitched in with me or talked to me much. They left me kind of abandoned there, and they didn't like the way that felt. Well, we learned a couple lessons, and so we try to make changes based on that. So it's just something to think about. Human nature is that they may wait until they're leaving to tell you the real truth. Hopefully they'll share it, to you, share it with you along the way, but don't miss the chance of asking them while they're going, just before they leave, to find out even more information. I hope that helps. Hope it helps your cleaning business. Till the next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.